Hello, I am the fish, he is El Mais, and uh, today you might be asking, what are we doing? Right now he's oiling with WD-40. It's not oiling with WD-40, you're cleaning with WD-40. Oh, he's cleaning, but it does protect. It did protect, the, it was invented for the Atlas missiles, so he is protecting in a certain sense. And right now... I'm about to light this La Fleur Dominicana Double Legero Cigar. This one hits hard. As you know... Is it tasty? It's very tasty. You can have a hit of this. You know it down the show that I do like to have my cigars. Right now it's called Toasting. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so much for the lighter. No, I just ran out of fuel. You want my cheapy, uh, it's not even a Bic, it's a Scotty lighter. <laughs> We're going to toast it. This is proper, you just want to say so you don't get a thing, a phenomenon called canoeing, where it doesn't lit uh, evenly. So you got to toast it. Oh yeah, huh. Around, so it lights properly. I wish I had my torch. Well, excuse me for having the cheap for the lighters. Red yet? Nope. It's an involved process, I tell you. But I guess that's why people get into the cigar smoking, huh? ritual part of it yeah to do it properly you almost have to have it ritualistic sort of why we're going through these rituals is this cigar smoking is a ceremonial ceremonial thing of the shapeshifters <laughs> shapeshifting the cigar route. and <laughs> we are going to talk well, a little bit about our shapeshifting well let's remember Shapeshifters are big in royalty, and tobacco was one of the first products brought back from the uh, New World to the uh, various royal families in the Old World to impress them. That's just uh, You know what I love about cigars? They clear out a room. Oh yeah, it clears out a hot tub too. Keep it in a hotel. <laughs> First hand experience. Light one of these bad boys up. You got the hot tub to yourself. Is it even if there's kiddos? Oh yeah, everybody just clears out. That's what I love about cigars. It's kind of like the uh, the equivalent of taking a la nice loud fart, but uh, you know it's still more socially acceptable than a fart. Hey. El Mais, have you ever like farted in your, in your hand, cupped it and put it over someone's mouth and just like hold it over the head? Ooh, no. That like sounds that. like a assault. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'd be my friends after that. But welcome to the show. Welcome to summer. Oh, shout out. And shout out to sponsors. our sponsors, R.E.T. and Pain and Pain Skate Magazine. Also... Drinking Sauza uh, uh, tequila today with some squirt. They're not sponsors, but it's pretty good. Either is uh, La Flor Dominicana. Let's uh, let's talk about what's in the news lately. A couple of things that are trending. El Maiz didn't want to talk about it, but Caitlyn, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, come on, dude, really? Well, just give Point, one. Okay, 0.3 fucking percent of the population experiences some type of gender dysphoria. Why the fuck are we talking so much about these people? 0.3%. That's it. That's all I got to say about that. Some dude playing dress up is not newsworthy to me. I don't care if he's got implants put in. I don't care if he had his you know, pecker chopped off. Not None of my business. I could care less. 
I'm not hiring him. I'm not discriminating against him. So it's not my not my monkey, not my circus. You know, but given the high st- uh, status of a prior Bruce Jenner, this may be the first transgender shapeshifter. You think he's a shapeshifter? Well, obviously he's shapeshifting yeah, something, ain't he? He shapeshifted. <laughs> <laughs> shapeshifted. Yeah. But, you know, uh, inquiries, hey, do you, uh, maybe- anybody think, Caitlyn Jenner is hot. Right in. What else is in the news? <laughs> what else is in the news? Um, it's it's it is uh, June already. Um, drought. There's a We're drought. Die in California. There's a drought in California. Can't afford to pump water in or out. We're all fucked. No more watering lawns. Service announcements. We will. Me and. The corn will knock your ass out if we see you watering your lawn. We need water. Unless it's pot plants. Then we won't call. Nah, and we won't call. But that's not part of, that's not lawn. Yeah. So, if anything, you know, for your medicinal, that's good for you. Yeah, take your take your turf out and put some, um, some herb in. Do uh, the world some, uh, some good. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry, this cigar is juicy. <laughs> We're gonna take a quite a quick break. This is part one of today's segment, so we will be right back with part two. And I'm not gonna say it now because it's in part two. I'll say our end segment uh, service announcement. So bear with us.